Hello, everyone. My name is Yi Fei. I'm a PhD student at the KTH Royal Institute of Technology. I'm glad to be here to present my work about the FTC, an MRR dialect for developing HPC fast fever transform libraries. And this work is done together with my colleagues, Arthur Pudovas, Mons Anderson, and Stefano Marquidis. And here is the structure of the presentation. First, we start with the motivation. The FFT algorithm plays an important role in many applications such as the signal processing and PDE and several successful FFT libraries are listed here. But now here are some problems with the popular FFT libraries like FDW, such as they may, they, they may be developed a long time ago. So lack of support for modern hardware and portability. And also they have their own independent software stack. So cannot utilize the technology we have in the evolving community. Also, they emit C-level code, so kind of like lack of control on the low-level compilation. And now we introduce a little bit about the FT algorithm. In above is the DFT computation and uh, by applying some fast fewer transforms, such as the Kuli Turkey form we showed here, it can be decomposed into several smaller DFTs. And in the bottom, the matrix representation, we can see that the dense DFT matrix is now being transformed to several sparse and structured matrix. And also the amount of computation is reduced. Now we start the methodology. Our aspiration with the FFTC is to design a domain specific language, which can increase the productivity for the algorithm developers. And meanwhile, it can generate high performance FFT code automatically. And here is the execution model and the compilation flow for the implementation. The current implementation supports the parts in dark color. The re remaining parts will be the focus in the near future. And for the front end, the FTC language, we try to design it to resemble the mathematic expressions as much as possible, but like the example we show here. And to support a variety of the, the algorithms, such as the Kuli Turkey, Stockham, etc., we design some operations and the data type, and we wrap them together in the FT dialect. And here is an example to show the map between the operations in the DSL and in the FT dialect MR, and also a small case in for the complete FFT example. And for the computational intensive part, we implement that through the affine dialect. And here is an example from the the an operation in FFT dialect. It, it's, it operates on the tensor the type, and by lowering down to affine, it's implemented by a nasty loop and operate on the memory, which is closer to the computer resource. And for now, I'm working on implementing the vectorization for the complex data type, which hasn't been done in my era. After affine, we can translate it to the LVM IR and then invoke the uh, LVM or JIT compiler to generate machine code. And he, here we support two modes, the ahead of time and the just in time compilation. For the evaluation, we run it on the Swedish supercomputer Kevin Heiser. And here is the compilation time. We can see that in my implementation, the MR compilation takes most of the time. And also we run the execution of the FT algorithm and with different configuration to enable different optimization passes and compare it with the FDW. We can see that now there is still a big gap between our implementation and the FDW. The reasons could be that for now, we I have uh, we don't have a fully optimized pipeline yet, such as we, we don't have the loop toweling, the vectorization yet. And also we don't have automatic FT decomposition planner, like what they have in FDW. So the conclusion, would be that uh, we I designed we designed a tensor based FFT DSL and the FFT dialect in MIR, and also we worked out a code generation pipeline through MIR and LVM infrastructure. The future work would be first focused on optimization. We want to add more optimized optimization passes like the loop tally motorization, and also we want to support various. After hardware backends, we want to reduce the compilation time and support dynamic FD size at compilation time. Yeah, thanks.